In this video, I will change this image into a painting. I'll be using Gray's Magic for Image Computing, commonly referred to as GMIC. It's a, it's a filter package for GIMP and it's available for Windows, Apple and Linux. If loading into Linux, I strongly recommend you go to your software center for your particular version. Now I'll enlarge, enlarge this by clicking this icon up here. I duplicate the image. Now I'll go straight to the filters and down to GMIC. I click on Artistic, pull down the arrow, go down to Cartoon. Now increase this up to about 8.47 or 3. Eight point four will do. I leave the sharpness at two hundred, and I lower the thickness to ten. Now click apply. Click OK. Close it off. Now I go to mode and pull it down and put it in overlay mode. The overlay mode changes, blends the two together. So you've got the artistic one at the top and the, the original underneath. Now it, it blends the two together. Now I go up to layers and add a layer mask because the filter made her eyes too dark. I choose the paintbrush tool and that particular fuzzy brush is okay and I need to increase it just slightly just put the cursor there and, I, and just paint over her eyes with the, with the black and that reveals the eyes underneath now I right click the top layer and merge down it brings the two together now I go back to colours and I choose levels and I bring the white slider and lighten it just a fraction. It brings up the hairline a little bit more. Now click OK. Now I make a new layer by clicking this icon here. OK. Move that layer down below. I'll be using that shortly. We go to the top one and we choose the elliptical tool and we draw an oval around the image around that side of the subject just move it over a little and just a little bit more that way I go to select and I invert that selection that puts it outside that particular oval I go back to select once again and I choose feather now I feather it by 220. Click OK. Now from the keyboard, I press the delete key. Now I go over to my eyedropper tool and choose that colour in there. Now I go to select and select none. I choose my paintbrush tool, select the lighter fuzzy brush. Now with that selected colour I just paint in around the edges because that's a little bit too heavy on that particular face. Leave a little bit on the chin, but not too much. Now I move down to the lower layer, which is our transparency one. We go to our blend tool 
and we leave the gradient at those particular colours. Now the shape, I move it down and choose the radial one and in the centre I just pull out to the edge and release. I'll go to the top layer, right click and flatten image. Now there's our painting using uh, GIMP's GMIC plugin. There's a hard copy on this procedure on the website listed below.